Hi guys, this is Deepesh from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on jobs and careers. Today we'll be dealing with module 5 on our Android training. So today we'll be seeing what is an activity, what is the life cycle of an Android activity. So before starting we need to understand what is an activity. So activity is an application component that provides a screen where user will be able to interact on it. Something like your dial pad or your WhatsApp, the screen that you see on WhatsApp is nothing but an activity. When you start your WhatsApp, the first screen that you see is called as an activity. So in an application, there will be many activities, but the activity that gets launched first is called as main activity by default, which is specified in your manifest file as the launcher activity. So usually the main activity will be the launching activity in any apps. So today we'll be seeing all the things, what is the life cycle of an activity and what, what are the methods that is used in an activity life cycle. So everything on by an example. So let me start something like this. As seen in the previous uh, modules, you know how to install Android Studio, how to start a new project and run your new project. So now I have created a new project here. So as you are seeing the same hierarchy such as manifest, Java and resources. So in the manifest file, as I have previously said it, I have the activity, I have the activity that has to be launched. And how do you, how does it make sure this has to be launched with these two parameters stating something like launcher and main. So this launcher would be specifying this main activity should be your launching activity in your app. So now we'll be seeing with the Java code here. So this is the main Java class and the main activity Java class. So here you can see something known as onCreate method and something known as set content view. In this set content view, you have the UI initialized. So I go here, I click my control and hover this mouse on it. So I click on it, I'll be able to see the screen here. So that's my labeled file as I previously discussed in the modules. So this is your labeled file. So now I want to show you one simple uh, flow structure before starting with the coding. So let me start with the flow structure first. So with respect to Android lifecycle, there are five methods which are most important to be discussed. Now, as you're seeing in this screen, the first method in an Android activity that gets called when you open an app is onCreate. So here, the onCreate method is called. Once the onCreate method is called, that would be your launch or when you click on an app, that method is called, where you will be initializing the UIs and you will be initializing more resources uh, you have some variables to be declared or some other things. All the initializations should be done on your on create method. When you open your app, at one point of time, you'll be able to see a screen that is nothing but your on resume state. Now, whenever you open an app and you see something and that state would be your on resume state. Okay, fine. Next, the state that gets called is on paused. So what is on pause? So now on your on resume, if you try to click on something and the activity that is there if it goes to the foreground or something like the activity is getting invisible in form of uh, any uh, pop-ups or any new labels they are trying to open, the activity which is previous would be getting faded. So in this state, we call the activity to be in pause state. And when the activity is no more visible, assume you closed your app or probably you navigated from one screen to another screen, that state would be on stopped state. So let me start with the practical implementation, how these activities are created in the code and how these methods are called one after the other. As I said, on create, on start, on resume, on pause, and on stop, and on rest try are the life cycle of an Android activity. So let me start with the coding now. So now, as you're seeing it here, I have an Android app. I have the manifest file, Java file, and the resources file, something known as drawable. I don't have any images here on my drawable. I have my labeled. I have my map map where I'll be having the images again, something like this. Now, I'll be going to my main activity here. So on this, as I said previously, onCreate is a method where you'll be able to initialize all your UIs. So the important thing that you have to notice here is the set content view. The set content view would be initializing your UI. So this has to be initialized only on your on create. So you cannot have a set content view on your resume or on your pause. So that cannot be done. You have to initialize the UI on on create. 
So I have initialized the UI on my on create using set content view that will be setting my labeled file. So next, as I said you, the next method that gets called in after on create is on create and on start. So let me implement a method called as on start. So I'll just right click, I'll go to generate, I'll go to override methods. So I have something known as on start, I click OK. So now my on start method is uh, that there here. So next on create is done, on start is done, on resume is what I want. So I'll go generate and I'll go override methods on resume. So I can see on stop, I can go to on resuming here, something like this. So on resume, not able to search it. On resume, yeah, I have my on resume here. So I have my on resume method. So next, after on resume is on pause. So I'll go to generate, I'll go to override methods on pause. I'll just go to on pause. Mm -hmm. So on pause, next would be on stop. I'll go to generate, override, on stop. And the last method is nothing but your on rest try method. Generate, override methods, on rest try. So as you have seen here in the screen, you have something known as on create, you have something known as on start, you have something known as on resume, pause, and stop. As I said to you, from on create it goes to on start, from on start it goes to on resume, from resume if the screen is trying to get invisible or it is trying to get into the foreground it goes into an on pause state, okay, then after that if the screen is no longer visible then it is called as on stop. So in on create we will be able to initialize all our UIs or whatever we are using on the UIs to initialize it. So in your on resume would be your visibility part it means you will be able to see the screen so that will be your on resume so let me start something like this so i have my emulator already running so what i'll try to do now is like i'll try to put a message in all of these methods so now i'll try to put a message using toast so one important thing before doing this like i have to explain you what is a toast toast is nothing but an inbuilt a function that is given by Android in order to show some messages. So when you see some messages, that is nothing but a toast message. So whatever you want to see on the screens has a message that you can do using toast. So I'll go to my screen and I'll type toast, toast dot make text. So I'll be giving my application context. I'll say on create, on create called. CL called. Then I'll go to toast dot length dot show. This show method, if you are trying to implement dot show only, it would be visible. So now on my on create, I have put a toast message stating on create call. The same thing I'll try to do it on my start as well as I'll change the text here to start. And the same, I'll try to copy, I'll try to paste here, I'll try to paste here, and I'll try to paste here, and I'll try to paste here. So I'll just change the text, something like resume called. I'll try to make something like pause called. I'll try to stop called. And I'll try destroy called. So I'll make my destroy called. So now R E S U M E resume call. So now as I said you on create, on start, on resume, on pause, on stop, on on destroy. So in the code if you are just looking at it, I have written sequentially like on create, on start, on resume, on pause, on stop and on run destroy. So what I'll try to do, I'll try to interchange this method. So I'll take off this, I'll try to write it here so that it's not a sequential execution. So now I'll try to take this app and I'll try to write this piece of code after on destroy. So now 
I don't have anything in sequence. So I don't have on create after that, on start, I have every methods jumbled. So let me run this program and I'll show you the output. So I have my emulator already uh, created for me. I have done the emulator with Nexus 5. I'll try to run this program. If you carefully watch here for uh, seconds to get it loaded. So let me wait for that time. So my APK is getting installed. So now if you closely watch here, the toast messages that would be coming up on create is called fine. As I told you, UI is started on start is called on on resume is called. Now, as you're seeing it here, you have on create on resume on start that has been called now. So now the sequence is something like this. First, it was called on create, then on start, then on resume. So now when I try to make my app minimize like this on pause is called it means the activity is visible but it is not in the foreground it is trying to get a partly invisible so this at this point of time it would be calling on pause then i click again it called start again and it called resume again so as you are seeing it here and one important thing that you need to notice the on create is not called again so when i click on my hiding button so it called pause and if I want to resume it back it is not called from on create so this state on create will be called only once in an app so now on resume is called so I have to show you on pause so I click on back is nothing but I close the activity now on pause is called it means the app is no longer visible in terms the app stop is called and the app destroy is called it means all the resources that was taken in on create to initialize the ui everything is destroyed please subscribe to our youtube channel for more android videos thank you